with fish cake, then nice one, you know, it's like one, one big, like tofu one, you know, but like big by fish one, then you just slice them. So it looks like this. I draw out, you know, really. Uh, so it's like the outer, outer version is like, like, like brown color one. Then inside white color. Then after that, there's some spots there. Uh, fish cake. You know, don't know, man. Fish cake, so nice. Now, first of all, once you prepare your piece of A4 already, so we're going to start off with this new title. Okay, new title. So please respond. Huh? So I need your, need your, what's it called? Need your ideas one, you know, later. Uh, so you have to tell me all the ideas in a while. Okay, first of all, we start off with this title called set. So my question to everybody, use your own way of expressing it. Huh? Tell me what's set. Tell me what's set. If let's say I'm going to tell you about, uh, I'm going to need you to write one, one definition. Definition of what is set, uh, what you will tell me. Oh, Gerald, not bad. Uh. Uh, what else come? Tell me more. Mm, come, the rest. What's a set? I would say, la, everyone, set is a, is a collection. Okay, is a collection of elements. Collection of elements. So this word is very important. So what do I mean by collection of elements? For example, for example, uh, I'm going to say, do you know Dragon Balls? <laughs> yes, no? Oh, you're not bad, uh. looks like you all know. Uh. Some, uh, not all. Okay, so I'm gonna tell you, oh, you know it. Eh? Okay, now, so let's say lah. I'm gonna say set A, set A represents the characters in Dragon Balls. Okay, Dragon Balls. So I will open up a bracket and I'll write there: Son Goku, Son Gohan, Son Goten, Vegeta, Bulma, and a lot more. So that's what I mean by it's a collection of elements collection of something but of course before you can write down all the elements they will describe it to you yeah that's the one okay so roughly the idea go that way lah. so let's say i talk about or i talk about set a set a represents wednesday afternoon form four class students uh, so that's the description you know so my elements would be open a bracket anis yiwen Catherine, Eric, Zenyu, Sian'en, Jared, Javier, uh, Johan, Jasin, and so on. A lot. So my number of elements will be who? My number of elements will be 24 because over here there's 24 participants excluding me, okay, excluding students I mentioned. Okay, so that's the, that's the meaning of sets. Okay, so you know like a bit of it when you are in Form 1. So Form 1, you learn something called introduction to sets. Okay. So the next one, okay, the next one, I will start off with like a flow, okay, a flow on how you learn set, how you learn set. So what you're going to learn is that number one, you have to learn how to, you have to learn how to shade, uh, do shading. Do you know what is shading? Anyone start this chapter in school already, Ann? Come, anyone? Anyone start this chapter already? So if, let's say you start, I, I believe most of you all start already, like maybe halfway, just started, Okay, or maybe some of you just end already. Like, like I asked the other physical class, they mentioned to me like a few lah. They say, teacher, my, my school teacher end already. I'm like, whoa, so fast. Okay, oh. okay so if let's say Evan starts, also okay. Huh? So I'm going to ask everyone, did your teacher mention about shading? Ask you to do some coloring on your sets, everything? I forgot to open up my, my mask. Hey. So did your teacher mention something like this? Okay, so if let's say your teacher did mention that, right, I'm going to show you something called the middle finger concept. So I'm going to write it over here. So for shading, right, it appears in 80% of your set question, you know. Appears in 80% of your set question. So you, in order to solve your set related question, you need to understand how to do shading first. So shading is so important. So, so, so important. So that very, very important thing, right, I will teach you a concept called what? called the middle finger concept. So I will teach you how to do shading by using this concept. Uh, so maybe you can draw a middle finger there. It's like, ooh, not bad. Okay, so you draw that. Uh, so remember, uh, so whenever you do shading, just tell, tell yourself, 
remember the middle finger concept. Uh, so that's the one. But uh, I won't be starting this middle finger concept today. So today we will we will focus on the theories, okay, all the names. So once we are solid, we know all the names really, then easier for me to teach y'all. Okay, then after that, after we learn shading, we have to learn something called the theories. So theory covers like roughly 20%. Okay, so basically theory means what, you know, all the formats lah. Okay, like you have to write like real formats, you know. Recently, um, I checked, I checked what? I checked form two exams, you know. Form two exam, like Catholic high school exam paper. Huh? So form two, they did badly in the exam. Super bad. Okay, so the reason being like, I, I just looked through lah, around 60%, 70% is from form one. So they basically gone, okay, because of form one, uh, they don't really focus on that. So gone. Yeah. Uh, so because of that. So the thing is that like one part uh, cost set, you know, they know how to do, they don't know how to do, but it's just that the, the way they present it is like not using that proper format there. So all wrong. Answer is correct. Answer is correct, but all wrong. Later I will show you what's the meaning of uh, formats. So how they write, why they get wrong. Uh, so you will know that. Okay, so format is one thing, then the other one, it will be what? Besides format. The other one will be all the symbols. Uh, so roughly how many symbols there? Around seven, eight symbols there. Mm, okay, so these are the things that we're gonna learn today. Formats and symbols. Okay, now I push. Okay, now the flow. First, we have to understand what is set description. Write that out. First thing we have to know, description. I don't want it. Thank you very much. Okay. Okay, come back. Uh, so we have this thing called set description, right? Second, after set description, uh, we have set what? Notation. So come across to all these words before, like the our teacher mentioned something similar. Sometimes you see our set notation, right? Your teacher might say um, expanded notation or, or something else. Okay, it depends. Or maybe just notation. Uh, now after this, finally you have to go into the the the, the most uh like 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 ultimate reason why you're gonna learn your sets. Uh so it's about relationship between your sets one, you know, it's about relationship between your sets. Huh? So this ultimate thing that we're gonna learn is called the Venn diagram. Okay, so recall this Venn diagram word. You forget what is it about, it's okay. But do you remember this word? <clears throat> it appears in your form one. Remember this word, right? You remember that? Okay, really. Uh, so I didn't expect you all to know in depth, but at least you remember the words. Uh, the words is important. Okay. Now, so once you know like all these things, right? The next thing comes in really, or the next thing. So we're going to start off with like what is set description. Okay. We will start off with this title. I'm not sure any students following me uh, since Form 1. I believe there's a few, especially Jachin, Eric. A few follow me, uh, follow, follow me like since Form 1. Yeah, okay. So, kawan kawan sekalian. Uh, see what you still remember. Uh, I remember when I teach your set, right? I talk about this thing called Yuchin's Restaurant. So, we're going to start with that. So, you write there. The example starts with Yuchin's Restaurant. Yeah. Okay. Yuchin restaurant. Okay. You're right there. So Yuchin restaurant. Who? Gengo. Okay. Offers how many dishes? Yuchin restaurant offers three dishes. So what are the three dishes? I will mention that. But the ingredients, you all will tell me. Ah. Okay. So you're right. This ready. You put. You put any any alphabet. So I know I can continue. Okay, so I'll make it like smaller a bit. So in case you write halfway, you can continue. Yes. Yeah, Jachen. Cooking class. Uh, prepare ingredients. But I'm not teaching you how to cook. Hey. Okay, I'm going to grab a few few bites of my lunch. Okay, I'm done ready. You put any number, uh, any number, any alphabets. Well. Okay, ons. Mm. No, no. Okay, now the next thing comes in, huh? 
The next thing will be, what are the three dishes? We will start off with this thing called set description. We will describe what are the three dishes that that Yuchin restaurant offers, okay? So set A, come on, come on. Set A, you see how I present, you know? I already say format and symbol is super important. So we will start off with a curve like this. It's basically a bracket that belongs to sets. Okay, so you know how to draw that, that bracket there. Uh, you have to make sure you draw the same bracket huh? because I see form one students when they, form two, sorry. Form two students when they present, huh? you, you know what you do? Aya, teacher, bracket only, ma. this one can ready. Aya, teacher, can one. I do this one. Cannot. All these things wrong. Okay, you must make sure, you must make sure the curve, it looks like what? It looks like a nose there, you see? Saw that. Ah. Okay, yeah. Uh? Now, so once you once you prepare that, okay, once you prepare that, we're gonna write first, it will be the ingredients. Okay, we have to prepare the ingredients of Nasilama. The ingredients of Nasilama. Okay, right. Ah, then after that, we have set B. So set B is another dish offered, uh, offers by what? By Yuching restaurant. So we have the ingredients of what? Okay, let me tell you. Uh, tell you, very nice, delicious. Okay, it's a Thai cuisine, right? So it's called the nasi goreng. I'm not sure whether you've come across to this word before. Uh, nasi goreng pattaya. Anyone don't know what is nasi goreng pattaya? Tell me. Uh, I show you all. I describe to you all what is nasi goreng pattaya. Okay, come, I tell you. Nasi goreng pattaya is basically a nasi goreng. Okay, it's just that there is a super huge, super huge egg. Okay, wrap is like wrapping the whole nasi lemak. It's like wrap la, but you wrap the nasi lemak. Then after you wrap the nasi lemak, I mean that 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 chef la wrap the nasi lemak. Then they will take chili sauce. They will draw one star, maybe a love on that big huge egg wraps. Ah, uh, that's called nasi goreng pattaya. Wow, them nice. Okay, then set C. Who is? So set C, what we have? Set C, we have ingredients. Okay, so everyone, I don't know whether you know this dish or not. It's like very popular one called the cha kui tiao. Cha kui tiao. Okay, so anyone don't know what is cha kui tiao, I tell you. Uh, anyone don't know? Char kui tiao. It's a Hokkien word. Uh, char kui tiao. Char kui tiao. Uh. Yeah, it, it actually um it, it means it means uh fried 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 kui tiao. <laughs> fried kui tiao, fried noodle, uh, something like this. Fried glass noodle. Yeah, something like this. Uh. Okay. So we're gonna move. So you notice like all these things, you, you cannot imagine that dish. You don't know what's inside, right? So basically these are what? These are useless stuff, useless. Okay, so you know what is that? You know nasi lemak, you know nasi goreng patai, you know chakritya, but you don't know the content. So basically set description, not useful one. So normally they will put it as what, you know? Normally, this is the question. Uh, so normally they will put there set description. So if, let's say a proper question, normally they will, they will ask this way, you know, they will say set A, open bracket, multiples of two less than 10. So what you have? So multiple of two less than 10, can you see I describe it for you, but you still sign. So in the end, you still have to write out, right? you will tell me two, four, six, eight, less than 10. Ma. So you have that four elements there. Ah, so that, so that's the difference. Lah. So when you do that, when you do your, um, <coughs> your, 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 what's it called, your set, uh, so we need the next steps where you have to write all the elements out. That's called the set notation. That's called a set notation. Okay, so we have set notation now. Okay, set notation. So we're going to convert all these useless stuff into something where it worth one mark per set. So set notation in another words, right? Sometimes they don't use the word set notation, but they will just tell you list all. List all the set A. Okay, list all the elements of set A. So normally they will say something like this. Okay, so everybody, 
let's start with set A. You're going to suggest me some ingredients uh, so I can put it inside. Uh, so I didn't, I didn't prepare all these things. Uh, it's just that I prepared the three, three ingredients. So you're going to tell me all the, all, the, all the ingredients. Okay, so Nasi Lama, come, start off with what? So what are the elements inside? Tell me the first one. Because you have your nasi. Oh, sambal. Nice. So we have nasi. We have sambal. Uh, what else? More come. Lemak your head. Nasi lemak. Lemak can eat one, man. It's in the nasi already. Uh, egg come. The low. Then we have ikan bilis. Ikan bilis, I just put IB, okay? Because I want to shorten the, the whole spelling, spelling thing, you know? Yeah. Timun. Nobody put like the word peanut one. We use kacang. Ah. Use peanut so England. Eh, anis. I like that. Ayam berempah. Okay, I just put R, okay? I put rendang, can not? I think rendang not bad also. Ah. Ayam rendang. Ah, so ayam goreng okay also. Lah. So ayam rendang, nice. So wait, how many, how many ingredients there already? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ah, lama. One more lah, come. I give you all, okay? I give you all, okay, everyone? Put this thing. You know why it's siham or not? Anyone don't know why it's siham? Uh, siham? I cannot recall that BM word. What is siham really? Oh, kerang. Ah, kerang. You know kerang now? Kerang is siham. Ah, so this nasi, it hey, got one. Ah, God. I eat before like, I'm not sure. Lah. I'm not sure because I did I did eat like yeah, instead of uh, uh I mean I mean you, you want if let's say you don't want nasi uh uh the nasi you don't want iron rendang, right? You say you want you want kerang. Well, kerang, I tell you, nice. One. I mean I mean the curry version one. Lah. If let's say chocolate, you put kerang, that one I don't like. Uh, but curry one, whoosh. Okay, everyone. So that's how you list, you know. So how many elements that can you tell me? So these are elements, you know. Ah, these are the elements. So we have eight elements. You count and see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight of them. So the, the other way of presenting your set, right? Because this one is like listing, you know. So I'm going to put that N, A, kawan, kawan. How many elements there? Eight, ma. So put eight lah. Eight, wait. Do you put bracket? Do you put bracket? No. Because bracket indicates element itself. So if I put eight there, that's the total. You don't need bracket. So bracket, there is a specific meaning, right? It means element itself. Then you have to put brackets already. Okay, so number of no need. So N basically means number of elements. I want to dig my nose. Okay, now next, set B. Kawan, this one come, use your imagination. Nasi goreng pataya, nasi and telo is a mas ma, cry right? Nasi and telo come. What else? Kasi, sauce so chili, nice. Okay, I just put SC cannot, sauce chili, uh, easier. Okay, prawn, not bad. Okay, come more. Eh, eh. I saw, uh, I saw like Uncle Roger stuff. Uh. Nasi goreng, no MSG, no nice. Ah, MSG. Cannot. Ah, uh, then chuchumba, your timun, come. Your tea moon. What else? Bawang. Bawang, yeah. Bawang, nice, man. Prawn, I put ready. Bawang. Kakarato. Okay, carrot. Carrot, come. Wait, ah. Uh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One more. Uyuh. Oh, Uyuh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uyuh, Marisa. This one king, oh. Everyone. This one a bit special, ah. Uh. But I'm going to put it inside, okay? Najib's favorite, kangkong. <laughs> what the heck? Okay, kangkong. Okay, everyone. How many elements there? Come tell me. So we have hmm, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight also. Lapan. Okay, lapan. Okay, set C. Sexy. Ah, everybody. Chakwitiao. Of course, you have kway teow, right? Uh, yesterday, one student said, teacher, can put nasi or not? Kena tampa. Okay, kway teow is the first one. Okay, prawn. Good, prawn. Hey, come on. Ikma, telo first. Okay, I, I put extra on everyone. 
I put some extra weird on now. Um, hmm. Please put kacang for me. <laughs> okay. Then, um, what else? Yeah. Jachen, why you like minyak so much? I want tauge. I want tauge. What else? One, two, three, four, five. Eh, kerang ma. Yeah, chocolate tiao. Chocolate tiao got kerang one. Uh, what else? Eh, uh, Melissa. You want to put you inside, is it? I thought there is already. Kue <laughs> tiao. Hey. Put me inside. Wait. Okay, now what else? Oh. Okay, since you like carrot so much, I put carrot. Okay. Wait, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One more. Put one special one. Ooh. Zenji, I like this. I missed out in every single class, you know. Everyone, I tell you, fish cake. This one must put, you know. You didn't put, it's not chocolate anymore. Fish cake. You know what is fish cake? Anyone don't know? Hey, fish cake, damn nice one, you know. It's like one, one big, like, tofu one, you know, but like, made by fish one, then you just slice them. So it looks like this. I draw out, you know, really. And, uh, so it's like, the outer, outer version is like, like, like brown color one. Then inside white color. Then after that, there's some spots there. Uh, fish cake. You all don't know me? Fish cake, so nice. Fish cake. Okay, now number of elements. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight. Okay, kawan. You all tell me, ah. Uh. Okay, you all tell me, ah. Uh. Total, there is how many ingredients here in Yu Chin's restaurant? How many ingredients there? If I say suddenly I ask uh, like number of, uh, I don't want to say number of lah, uh, I will just ask you all uh, how many elements there? Total how many elements? Okay, so a lot of you will say 24, you know? A lot of you will say 24. But then the answer is not 24. Okay? So why do I say the answer is not 24? Anyone can explain to me why? Why I say the answer is not 24? Hmm. Apa sal? Why? Yeah, correct, Jachen. Yeah, so a few of you mentioned that. Because there are repeated elements, you're right. Some repeated really kind of like, for example, kangkong. Eh, no. Kangkong got me. Ah, uh, kangkong didn't repeat, sorry. Carrot. Then your kerang repeat. Telo. Nasi. Okay, repeats a few, like, like in few elements, cry not. So in order to make them more useful. You, you notice notation is like more useful, really, cry not. Okay, what do I mean by more useful? Because description itself, you know what is that, but you don't know the ingredients. How do you know there is kangkong in nasi goreng pattaya? Where after Melissa told you, we, uh, so that's the one. So you need the elements. If you don't know the elements, now you know. Cry not. Ah. So now we're going to go into like the relationship. So it will ease Yu Qing to buy the ingredients. So imagine now, uh, Yu Qing want to go, go giant, you know. Yu Qing go giant. So do you think Yu Qing, wait, let me see Yu Qing here, no? Okay, not that good. <laughs> so, do you think Yu Qing is stupid enough when he go giant, ah, he will take out the list, you know? Take out the list, huh? <laughs> Suli, it's okay, no problem. Just request, no problem. Okay, so do you think Yu Qing will be stupid enough to do this thing? Go giant, ah, take the list out and go and buy nasi, sambal, telo, ikan bilis, timun, kacang, ayam, rendang, then kerang, stop. Then after that, take another list. Now I'm going to buy set B, my nasi goreng pattaya. So you go and buy nasi again, telur again. Then uh, sauce chili. Then after that, prawns, MSG, timun, uh, carrot kangkong. Then after that, keep the list again and go take a trolley and go again. Take kuih tiao, prawn, telur, kacang. So you notice there are repeated stuff, right? So I don't think Yuching is that stupid. La. Yuching is a real chef, you know? Do you all know that? <laughs> like serious one, Yuching's uh, major in uni, uh, it's a chef. Culinary arts. Serious one. You thought I fake your one. Uh. So, uh, serious? Uh, so, you ask, you ask Yu Qing about MSG, he will tell you a lot of things. Uh, okay, now. So, back to this. Uh, so, in order to 
to see the relationship between the sets, right? So we got to go into our last final details. That will be Venn diagram. Mm. Okay, everybody. Venn diagram talks about the relationship, right? right? So I need everybody to really draw nice, nice one, you know. A nice, nice one. I take a ruler and you draw one huge rectangle in the piece of paper that you, that you have been using. So I want the rectangle to be to be half of your half of your your what uh, what's that called uh, half of your calculator size. Uh, so I'm going to draw my first one already. Uh, so make sure your rectangle is super huge. Okay, huge one. You know, uh, don't simply draw a uh, huge one. So at least lah, half of your calculator. Okay, half of the calculator is like this one is your calculator, right? Roughly half of the size. Uh, because we have to draw a lot of circles inside. Uh, if you don't want to draw a circle, you want to draw a star also can, but nobody, nobody do that. Uh. So draw a circle, uh, draw a rectangle, also can. Uh. I mean later inside. Uh. But the outer one, it must be a huge rectangle. You prepare that nicely. Uh, uh. Make sure there is no small gaps, okay, where it's like there is lubang one, cannot. Everything must close up. You done that, you put one. I wait for you. I take a few bites first. Hmm. Make sure uh, Venn diagram, nice, nice one. Great drawing Venn diagram worth two marks. Hmm. Yeah, prepare ready, put one. Uh. Yo, yeah, no bear, huh? Okay, so looks like rectangle, very easy to draw, right? Make sure big one, uh. Don't draw small one because later a lot of things to write inside. We have a lot of elements to write. Okay, kawan, kawan, skalian. So I'm gonna go down. You put there symbols. We will start off with the first one. The first symbol that I'm going to introduce again to y'all is from the form one. Okay, so form one, what you learn, you know, form one, you learn universal set. So in BM, it's called set semester. Okay, everybody, explain a bit in your chat what is universal set. Okay, what's so special about universal set? What's that? Hmm? I'm actually eating nasi goreng pattaya with fruits. I show you. Like legit one. You see my pattaya egg and there is fruits inside. <laughs> so special, right? That's why you see my ingredients so special and got kangkung some What the heck? Uh, so why is universal? Hey, nobody reply me. Oh, I cannot ignore already. Don't know you put X. I'm okay, right? Uh, I don't know you put X. Uh, oh yeah, really don't know. Uh. Okay, never mind. I show you all. So everyone, universal set means uh, all the elements in the question. So can you see over here? You see, hambarang is over here, right? right? Your nasi, la, your sambal, telur, your ikan base. Everyone, sadly, sadly, if I mention cockroach. Everyone, cockroach, is it part of our elements here? No, ma, right? right? No, so it's not part of our question. So universal set means all the elements that happens in the things that I mentioned to you. I mentioned set A, B, C only, right? So cockroach is not in our uh, not not to say not in our syllabus. It's not in our universal. Uh, our universal is all these like English or nasi lemak, patayang, chakrati, everything is there already. Uh, so that's the one. So basically, you can say everything lah, uh, but it restrict to the question only. Okay, restrict to the question only. So how do you draw universal set? Come, I show you. Nobody can draw like those nice, nice one. Okay, see, you, you know how to kiss people? Uh, then suddenly those like, no partner then, oh, gonna, shit. I show you how to kiss people, okay? Come, draw this with me. Huh? Now this one. See that? <laughs> so let me draw, draw Jachen, okay? Uh, this is Jachen. 
ini abang jachen sorry abang jachen wear specs kan ah can so at the balik tree up and down we put like two hooks can really ah uh, okay so that's that that's like a a, a rough drawing on what is universal set lah huh? nobody going to draw like nice nice one okay this one good enough Okay, so a lot of you will say, teacher, I thought last time all got curved some more than got one little hook there. Then after that, got 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 curved one, you know. Then my teacher say I have to hook out one. Oh. Come on, nah, nobody do this kind of things, son. Okay, roughly can really put this kiss kissing kissing symbol. Okay, really. Okay, right. Oh oh, my rectangle. You really. Okay, so can ah. Now we gotta go back to our rectangle and put that nice nice there. All that. So that's called universal. So all the elements, I will draw it in my universal. So I cannot draw my elements outside here, cannot. Everything must be inside. Ah, that's the one, okay? Now, so I already introduced universal set to you. So I'm gonna now go back to the blue color set notation and ask you all, everyone, before I start drawing all the circles inside, right? Or maybe rectangle or maybe square up to you lah. Triangle also can, but don't do something like, teacher, can I draw star or not? You want, it's can, right? but don't waste your time, now, okay? So like normal circle, rectangle, square, all those things, triangle can really. Okay, can you tell me among A, B, C, which element repeats in the three given sets there? So we have nasi, straight away cancel it, nah. cancel nasi, nasi. Eh, eh. Sorry, sorry. Okay, yes, the low, so sorry, the low. What else like repeats in three things? Nothing really, right? Oh, the low only, right? Okay, so everyone, what are you going to do? Because intersect by three of the set, you know, so standard one, three elements intersect, uh, you see what I do. Now, so wait, uh, I do first, you know, I will recommend you to use a pencil to draw it. Uh, recorded student, please follow the same thing, you know, uh, so make sure you draw using what? using pencil. But the rectangle you draw using pen, okay lah, but the inner part draw using pencil. In case you have no space, you can erase and draw the circle again. Uh, so I draw a first circle, right? a super big one, whoa. Oh, sorry, one more time. So make sure your circle like really close up one, you know. Because of my small little mistake that I missed out, and I think that mistake is like kind of stupid. I don't know why my teacher just penalized on these small little things. Because of one small, small hole there, you know, I gone, I got two marks gone, you know, and I get 84 marks on my first exam. Uh, and 85, it's A. My teacher insists not to get me, uh, give me that marks. I cannot get A. So my school standard last time, 85 is, uh, 85 is A. Sad, tell you, because of this hole, you know, uh, so I argue so long, cannot. So that's why I say, you must make sure everything close up. Okay, so after you do this, wait, wait. You see my second one, you see my intersection, every single part, it must be huge enough for me to write something there. So like super big one. So some of you will say, teacher, I can use compass or not. You want is can one, but but the intersection not big enough. Lah. So you see my intersection damn big. One. You see, wow, 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 wow. So that, okay. So in the middle, right in the middle, what I'll write? I definitely will put that turlo there, right? And we'll put that huge little paste here. Okay, you see? Paste there. So that small little big dot, I feel like digging again. So that huge little big dot, uh, important. It means element itself. So the first one done already. Okay, so of course, now we have like set A, we have set B, we have to write nicely. And after that, we have set C. Okay, you're done with this drawing, huge enough, and it's close up, huh? I repeat, uh, closing up your set, it's important. Okay, I know it sounds a bit stupid, but you must do that. It's important to close them. If let's say small hole there, wrong. Legit wrong one. Okay, so make sure everything nice, nice. Order. So you're done already, you put W. Then I hit my pattaya first. Pattaya, grapes, and blueberry. Some more got timun and carrot. Wrong also got. Done ready, let me know. Huh? Mm. Wow, your turn fast though. Okay, your turn. 
your sister aim how many A's in FTM. This year SPM very king, eh? You all see, did you see the recent TDC result? Crazy one, those students. Last year, 500, 500 over students get six A's and above. Ah, uh, six A and above, uh, and above. And this year, 650 plus, six A and above. Crazy one, those students. Wow, Jason. So is that your aim? Nah. Jason, you call yourself no. Then who am I? Uh -huh. Okay, come. Start, huh? Now, everybody. So later, I will show you. Oops. Sorry. Now, so later what I do is that I will show you this thing called um, like how do I handle like a lot of elements, okay? So when I handle that, you don't draw it first. When I say start writing them, you, you write. Uh, because I don't want to waste your time, like you erase it and that, okay? Now everyone, look at this. It sounds a bit a bit stupid, but I still have to tell you that. Okay, everybody, see, see it nicely. Huh? So I'm going to start drawing really now. Okay, everyone. This is, this is A. I repeat, huh? this is A. Sounds stupid, right? Huh? Student will say, teacher, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know that's A. Uh, so this is A. I repeat, huh? everyone, this is C. Why do I suddenly say something like this? Because in sets, right, there are some specific wordings that you have to know. So I repeat. Everyone, what's this? This is A. So if I say the word A, look at the word, huh? I say the word A only. So there is there is a few symbols there you tell me, huh? uh, still numbers there, one, two, three, four. Can you tell me A only represents what? A only represents number one. Thank you very much. If I say A, leh, you will tell me one, two, three, four. Get it? So that's why it sounds stupid, but you have to know that it's something important. Okay. So I repeat, A represents one, two, three, four. I mean, as in the parts, if I say A only, you have to focus on the word. They will mention one, you know, if they say A only, you'll focus on one. Okay. So what I do now is that I know some students, they, they have this spacious kind of skill or uh, ability. They look at the question, they know how, what to fit inside really, which is super good. But I have to target students like me. Okay. Noob, noob one. Uh, so what I do is that I will always look at all the only and I will, I will place all the information inside. Please don't do it first. Huh? You see how I do it. Okay, so if let's say you can work out faster, go ahead. So I put that dot with a nasi, dot with this sambal, doraya, dot ib, ib means income list, dot timun, and then dot kacang, and then dot ayam berempah. Eh, sorry, ayam rendang. Then after that, dot kerang. Okay, so you notice that teacher, I thought the kerang and, 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 and what, and timun, sambal, there's some intersection, you have to place it in, in, in the middle part of like A and B or B, A and C, or maybe B and C, I know that. Uh, so what I do is that, if I say there's a lot of elements, it's better for you to do like this way, so you won't miss out any elements. So as for your B, you have like dot nasi, you see, uh, notice that nasi is supposed to be in the middle, right? So sauce chili, you're right. Then we have prawn, thank you for a response, everybody. So we have MSG, then we have Timun, we have Kakarato, then we have Kangkong, the special one, Kangkong. I thought Kangkong supposed to be in Sotong one. <laughs> then see, we have Kuei Tiao, we have Prawn, Kita Ada Kacang, uh, we have Bean Sprout, the Tauge, we like it in, in like the Ori, Ori word, then we have the Kerang Siham, we have Kakarato, and we have huh, the best and authentic fish cake. Kawan, kawan. Now you see what I do. Huh? So what I do is that I will take my huge, okay, I will take my huge palm. So that's my huge palm there. Wow, damn nice. Saw that or not? So that's my huge palm there, right? Okay, see what I do. Huh? 
So everybody, I will take this and I will cover up this part. Can you see? I will focus on my AC, you know. Can you see AC? There is something in the middle of them, right? So what I do is that, nah, nah, nah. You see what I do, huh? Okay, wait, wait. So what I do is that, wait, 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 let me cover nicely first. Okay, what I do, do, do is that, I will, I will do this, you know. So I will cancel, uh, see, uh, I will cancel the repeated one. So kacang cancel, what else? Kerang cancel, who else repeats over here? I don't think so. So you put that dot kacang, please make sure you put the dot kacang and kerang, you're right. And then of course you erase it. Okay, but of course, you haven't do anything yet. Lah. So please don't write anything yet until I said you have to write something. So this one, I erase it, useless radian. So we are already done with our A and C. Okay, so now let's take away my, my huge pound there. Eh? So I just turn around after that, move it, and I will close up. So which one? I will close up, everybody. See ya? Huh? Oops. So I will close this part. Ah, saw that. So when I compare this, tell me who is the one that repeats. Yeah. So nasi, correct. So nasi kasi siapkan. So nasi, remember to put the dot. Huh? Then what else? <coughs> Oops. Then we have timun, the chuchumba. And then what else? I don't think so, right? Yeah, no, 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 not anymore. Okay, so I will erase the timun and nasi. Erase it, erase, kasi, erase, erase, then after that, um, okay, what else? I don't think so, right? So I will take this away and now I will cover up our final parts. So the final parts will be the upper part, right? So I will take this away and cover up the final part. Okay, kasi, kasi, cover. Okay, now, so who repeats over here, everyone? So the repeated one, let's see. So basically your kakrato. Your carrot, what else? Your prawn, okay, prawn. So I put there, carrot and the prawns. And I don't think so anymore. So I just erase it, erase it, and erase it. Okay, so once I erase everything, now I'm going to check everybody. I'm going to check, huh? So I check A. <coughs> Sorry. Everyone, look at the A. Can you see what I mentioned? Look at A. Look at A. A will be this one, you know. A will be this one. So suppose when you look at number of A, I repeat, huh? if they mention A only, you know what to refer to already, right? but they mention A. So A is supposed to be 8. So I count, huh? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Nice. So that. Number of B. So let's check number of B. They say number of B. B means this whole thing. Huh? I didn't say B only, right? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nice. So C, eight also. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nice. Okay. So everyone, now I'm gonna put a huge one, number of universal. Can you see that? Universal set. So this one I let Jachen answer. Nah, Abang Jachen, tell me there is how many elements in the Venn diagram. So now you have to count. Huh? Look at this whole A over here. It's like obviously eight ready, right? Huh? So eight. Now everyone look at this. Eight ready. Huh? So this one eight. Huh? Then nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So the answer is we have only 16 ingredients to prepare. So your Abang Yuchin, Yukin, Go Giant, okay, Maso. Get, uh, get how many ingredients? 16 ingredients. Then can chow already. Nobody going to put like, take a trolley, go and take it, take it again, take it again. No. Uh, okay, wait, 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 wait. Sure, sometimes there will be like the rectangle inside another rectangle. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Shivani. Um, that's why I say you can, it can be circle, it can be rectangle, it can be triangle, anything. Uh, it can be star as well. It's just that we don't draw that. Uh, so to ease our drawing, I always use circle. You don't have to purposely use compass, huh? Uh, so as long as the shape, it's close up, and that will be good enough to treat it as a set. Uh, so normally we use shapes. Okay. So that's the one. Okay, now. So final part, there is so many more symbols that you're going to learn up. Like you have your universal, your, 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 your what? Eh, universal, one of it. Lah. You have your uh, subset, your element of, your intersection, your, your unions. 
okay, your empty sets, all those symbols, and all those symbols, it will be in our next class. So this class focus on what? Focus on basic theories and symbols that you must know in your basics, okay? So everyone, finally, finally, I'm going to draw like another version of Venn diagram when normally you see in your question on, you know, so normally you will see like a rectangle. This one draws small one can really. No need to be too big. Maybe eraser size larger a bit also can. Uh, this one is just to show you, okay? So you have your universal set. Okay, then you draw the same thing. I'm comparing the same thing, but in a different drawing manner. So you notice my intersection is like quite small one. Okay, so as long as they are close up, then that will be good enough. So that will be your A, your B, your C. And next, uh, come on. See, uh, tell me, everybody answer me in the chat. Uh, how many elements here in the middle? Right in the middle, like uh, intersect by all the three sets on. Stupid question, one, one, right? One. Then what you do, you go in the middle, you put one. Uh. Do you, eh, why can people put four one? <laughs> one, uh, the low one. Uh, so everyone, the third low, uh, one. Uh, can you see the low itself? I put a dot there, you saw that? That's called element itself. But over here, I didn't put a dot. Can you see that? I didn't put dot. What it means? It means how many elements are there? Yes, so there's a difference there. And so what is this, everyone? Tell me how, what you're going to write here. Uh, come like quick. Yeah, so you see all these, all these like, Parts over here, I believe you know, you have to write two there already, crying out. So no dots, huh? you put dot, gone. You put dot, it becomes element, cannot. Uh, then after that, that's the format. That's why I say, I've been saying, theory is about formats and symbols. But symbol, we managed to do one on, on, on basic theories. Lah. So next week, we'll do more. So this one, three. You know, got three. This one got three. So let's count and see whether correct, correct or not. So A, saw that. Is that it? Yes. Look at your B. Is that it? Yes. Look at your C. Is that it? Yes. Okay, everyone. So when you calculate everything, you just have to calculate one time only, you know. 3 plus 2 plus 2 plus 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 3. Yes, it's 16. Ah. Okay, you know what? So that's another way to present Venn diagram in normal questions. But if let's say they want you to draw Venn diagram where it worth two marks, normally it will be this one. This one normally it will be questioned now. So when they ask you, they do these kind of things. Okay, everybody, I'm going to stop here today. Like our super basic uh, sets that you have to know before you start up your union, the set, your subset, elements of from the form ones, and your what else, like empty sets, a lot more. Okay, that will be next class. Okay, so I will stop here today and ciao. Bye.